Hello everyone and welcome back to the Great Book of Grudges. My name is Nathan and yeah, a few weeks ago I hypothesized that maybe Thrones of Decay has been delayed and now that is fairly obvious to me. Keep in mind that we are now in December and we have seen no announcement just yet. With patch 4.1 coming out fairly recently, some hotfixes coming into effect pretty much on a weekly basis so far. Yeah, we're not going to be expecting Thrones of Decay anytime soon and it's something that we need to talk about because... I have seen a lot of hopium and copium and all that usual stuff on the forums lately. A big reason for this is because yesterday some people found a Thrones of Decay website page. This is on the main website, but it links to nothing. You get a 404 message. Yeah, I know that can drive up a lot of hype. I just wouldn't look into the bigger picture of it. I think by now, the DLC would have been announced if we would have still been on the usual schedule. So the page itself was likely scheduled to go live and they just decided to take it off. But seeing as Creative Assembly sometimes leave links up and running, the link probably stayed live because they forgot to actually turn it off on whatever program they use for their websites. This has actually happened a few times before with DLC names going live prior or just some characters being announced prior. The thing is, Thrones of Decay is already known to us. We've known about this since the roadmap came out a while ago, too. Now, some people might be theorizing that they're going to announce it soon with a release in early January. That's not going to happen, mostly because this has never happened. We've never had a DLC release during their holiday break. And by that, I mean, you know, pre-release content and so on. Because what normally happens when it comes to this is they are on hand in case they need to fix up any major bugs that creators might find. Creative Assembly normally go on a Christmas break for about a week or two during December, which would be, yeah, you know, uh, December 16th all the way up to the beginning of January. And when they come back in January, they're gonna want to, like, buckle down and get stuff sorted, so there is no chance we're gonna see this DLC in January. I would very much doubt that. Now, I know that sounds all doom and gloom, but I wouldn't say that that's a bad thing, in all honesty, because we have to think about things logically. Shadows of Change was atrocious. It was low content and everything was just not great. The fact is, they probably saw the result of Shadows of Change and they're probably thinking, well, we can't have that again. This is our only profitable IP at the moment. Because I can pretty much guarantee you at this point that Thrones of Decay likely had the same amount of content that Shadows of Change did and the future DLC for Sunesh also likely the same. It just makes a lot of sense. They were trying to lowball us as much as possible. So now they must be in a proper panic, especially considering all the layoffs and so on. Sega bringing down the hammer is likely going to make them think, we need to make sure that this does not happen again for the future not only of Total War but of Creative Assembly in general. If Thrones of Decay is awful and there is no mainline Total War game coming out anytime soon or announced anytime soon, which I fairly much doubt, um, yeah, that's the end of the company at this point. So if a delay has actually happened, which is, again, fairly obvious now, they are likely going to be adding either more content or make the DLC much more worth it. I doubt that the price is going to go down. I very much doubt it. Mostly because they've already set the price before. That's likely been set by Sega and Sega will not budge on that. But what they have to do is make it value for money. And I've said it before, Thrones of Decay needs to be better than Shadows of Change regardless. These are races which desperately need touch-ups. The Empire, the Dwarfs and obviously Nurgle too. Whereas, in terms of Shadows of Change, Kislev and Cafe, base game style, were fine. Zinch, the same thing. There needs to be a lot more effort put into Thrones of Decay than there was for Shadows of Change, and I'm imagining that's likely also a reason why there's going to be a delay for this. I know talking about delay isn't the most positive thing, but I ultimately think that this is going to be a good thing, because, again, some more time in the oven is going to be good, it's just going to make sure that mistakes that happen in Shadows of Change do not happen again. And I'm going to keep an open mind. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I do apologize for a shorter video today. I uh, I am tired. I've been playing a lot of Season of Discovery. I'll be honest with you. I've just been having a lot of fun in WoW Classic. And I think that's the most important thing, right? Once we're in a dead zone, we can enjoy other titles. Rogue Trader's coming out soon. That's going to be something that I'm going to be playing heavily. Maybe make some videos on. And we'll see how it goes. But with all that being said, have a good day, guys. I'll see you all again very, very soon. I'll be live a little bit later on Twitch if you want to join and chat about Total War or whatever. Pop by and say hi and yeah, have a good weekend.